Welcome to HVAC Startup Technicians and today I want to talk to you guys about designs and BTUs. We want to get a little bit more technical. I think we have covered in our last couple of videos the how to do part of our channel and we actually moving into our mathematics. We actually moving into more important stuff and more detailed stuff to show you how the calculation with BTUs and CFMs are done. So this is where we're going to start. So we're going to talk about our BTUs. So we know on our heating side, it's the number we're looking for is 12,000. Okay. And on our cooling side, what we're looking at, we know is 400 CFM. 400 CFM, let me take it again, 400 CFMs per turn on our cooling side. So. But we also know that if we have a 80% furnace, and I'm going to get into 90%, but I'm going to just talk a little bit to you guys about 80%. 80% furnace is 130 for every 10,000. So if we have, uh, let me say, 80,000, let me work on an 80,000 BTU furnace to find out what, 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 what our CFM is, we're going to take that 130 times 8 because we're working on an 80,000 80, BTU furnace. Um, if we were working on a 90%, the number we would look at is 150 times eight. So if that's an 80% furnace. So it's very, very important for we to talk about how to calculate those CFMs, but you need to keep in mind the equivalence in BTUs and CFMs, 12,000 12, BTUs on the heating side. Okay, that's where you're starting with. You can also calculate what your BTUs are outside also. Okay, so it's very, very important to know these numbers. But we know that 130, let me just stick with our CFMs. We know that 130 times 8, and that's going to actually tell us what's happening with that furnace. Um, but that's our design. It is not actually telling us what the furnace is doing. So to find out what that furnace is doing, we get into a little bit more mathematics. Um, there is there is calculations that we know. So let's talk about the heating side first. So to find out our BTUs on a furnace, CFMs. So you know what your CFM is? You, 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 you do your CFMs, a calculation, you know what it is? Times delta T times 1.08 I will take that again to find out your BTUs on your furnace CFM times Delta T times 1.08 and for the people that don't know what Delta T is that's when you take your your temperature reading from your supply and your return oh yeah those those numbers you're gonna get there that, gonna, that calculation is going to give you what your delta T is. Um, but how do you find your BTUs? You can also find your BTUs on your cooling system outside. And for that is CFM times delta H times 4.5. And that gives you your BTUs. So these, these numbers is how to calculate your BTUs on your furnace. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about efficiency because um, it's very important to find out what that furnace is doing. How do you know what that furnace is doing? There is efficiency test and um, and how to figure out how efficiency, how efficient that furnace is running. So let me take for example a uh, 80% furnace and I'm going to tell you exactly the numbers and to how to figure out what's really going on and find and how to find your CFMs. So to find your CFMs, to find exactly what CFMs you're getting on your heating side, I'm using an 80% furnace as an example here. And I want you to take a note of the 0.80 times 80,000. That will give you 64,000. That's one part of the math. The next part of the math, we're going to work out what our delta T is. So let me say our delta T 
is 45 is a two max and i'm just giving you a uh, estimate of what your delta t if your delta is 45 now you take that times 1.08 okay and remember you had this 64,000 from the first part of the math and if you multiply 45 times 1.08 that's going to give you 47.6 so you're going to take that 47.6 and you go divide it by the 64,000 that will give you what your actual CFM is and that piece of equipment and the same goes for if that was a 90% it doesn't change you would now not be doing 0 0.80 you'll be doing no you'll be doing 0 0.90 times 80,000 and you go through the math you get what, what you, and and that that's 64,000 when I said that 0 0.80 times 80,000 and I give you 64 that is your output of your furnace so these things are very very important and is um, the numbers that technicians should be actually looking at um, to figure out how the system is working um, and that that will tell you that will tell you a lot you know let we talk about our efficiency now um, which is very important so we will talk about efficiency based on our BTUs I originally told you that to calculate your BTUs that will tell you how efficiency that system is working for what people will say oh do this to the equipment or do that to the equipment and um, the numbers is going to tell you exactly what the system is doing so let me look at our heating um go do some repeating here earlier on I said to you guys that to the heating you do your CFM times delta T time 1.08 and that's going to give you your BTUs right that's going to tell you exactly how much BTUs you have in that furnace so you take what you have from what you need you look at the back of the furnace and um and then it's going to tell you if you look at the back of the furnace you take that BTUs and you take what you have the calculation that you have from the BTUs that you calculate and you take out what you have from what you need so you make a division you divide what you have by what you need and I will give you I'll give you a, an example of some numbers that I did how I find all the BTUs um, efficiency and how a furnace should operate now when you have a new furnace you should be operating at least 90% um, if you have another uh, equipment uh, older equipment you will expect that the efficiency should go down um, a lot so let me say we I'll give it some simple number. Let me say we have a one ton unit, which let me say, and I'm looking at an outdoor unit, which because you can also work your BTUs as I said, you could just calculate the 400 CFM equivalent to 12,000 BTU. So if you have a one ton unit outside and you have 352 CFM, I work that out, and my delta T outside there was 3.89, I will take that and multiply it by 4.5. That will give me 6,170 and BTUs. So we know exactly. So we look at the back of that furnace, we calculate our BTUs, and we take out what we need, we divide what we need from what we have. And by these numbers, it was telling me that that system was working on a 51% efficiency. So these numbers are very, very, very important. And I will continue to give you those numbers though you could actually practice an other furnace that you may have in, at, at, in your house and see exactly how to um how to calculate these things because they're very 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 important to tell you how your furnace is working if it's working correctly um i would not tell you exactly what to check because we know if your furnace is working not working correctly you could check your you could check um, static pressure, you know, we, we could check your filter, make sure if you're not getting proper airflow and all that stuff. But this video is not about that. This video is just about calculating your efficiencies. Now, if there is anything you want me to cover, or you have any question about this video, or you need any clarification, please um, make a comment. And please don't forget to comment and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys for, for watching this video, and we will get a little bit more technical as we go further into the channel all right thank you guys bye